Good morning, YouTube students. I wanted to share some insights on each one, standing meditation. It's a very important practice that most Tai Chi schools have. And um, I started learning this in the 1960s from Guo Lin Ying, who was uh, uh, directly under the originator, Wang Shanzai. But I didn't understand it at all. I just did it. Um, but since then, I've trained under uh, my senior brother, David Chin, my junior brother, even, uh, Henry Look, Hank Look. Both of those uh, Sibus are dead now. And uh, I combine things that I learned from both of them uh, which is, is kind of ironic and interesting because they, they didn't get along too well at all. Uh, and I have, I have my choices on that. My senior brother, I look up to immensely, and my junior brother was an egotistical blowhard, and <laughs> he, um, he played the kung fu game to get famous and did a lot of, you know, unconscionable things. So, uh, but David Chin was a devout Buddhist and um, had a lot of integrity. So anyway, <clears throat> that having been said, uh, so, when, so when you do each one and you do the first position, one good thing is to transition very slowly into, this, into each position. So let's say you're in number one. Don't all of a sudden go, boop, I'm in number two. It's, it's really good to just ease your way slowly into it. Yeah, and then when you go to number three, you're going around a volume of nothingness. <laughs> and then you ease your way into number four. So even more slowly than that. Um, I show these on other videos, which each position is. But let me, uh, another insight I've had is that three quarters of the way through the form is the highest level, it's climactic, and that's the highest level of intensity with, with discomfort and, you know, the need to focus and, because your delts are pretty fried by then, that's part of the reason. So when you go from number four Oh, which, you know, you're not holding your arms up, they're down. You're lifting your crown point, you're thinking about six directions of force, that's all in place. Down, up, forward, back, left, right. I've said that on previous videos. But when you, tra so it's like no rest for the weary, then you go to number five and it, it's extremely, this is the most difficult transition is to go around this volume and just bring this shape up and it lines up with your eyebrows. So this is kind of uh, not a comfort zone. And then when you go to number six, which is the only one that Guo taught, and he taught it as universal post in a standing up bend piece. Uh, but traditionally you'll see people in their little <clears throat> pony stance. So coming from five to six, you, it, it's helpful to just maintain the elbow level and just bring the forearm down. And you could say that the lateral points of the forearm are across from the lungs. Whatever uh, helps you to maintain that, it's not a collapse. So in number one, the elbows are, are tri you know, the forms are triangular. This one, the elbows are up, okay? So this is definitely the, the most intense moment in each one when you're <clears throat> at chest height. And then gradually go down, and that, this is a big relief to go down to seven and eight. Seven, eight, and that involves the least amount of movement. The fingertips should be one to two fists apart. Breathe lightly through the nose, if you have the awareness of all the chakras or the energy centers, uh, 
you know, it's hard to not ruminate over that because your mind likes to like, oh, I gotta think of something. But uh, it's not necessary because your, your uh, you know, the microcosmic orbit breath, I mean, you can play with mixing and matching stuff, but really you just breathe naturally. Just breathe naturally, lightly through the nose, tip of the tongue on the upper palate, that kind of stuff. That kind of Tai Chi stuff. Anyway, I can't recommend standing meditation highly enough. Um, the progress is internal. It, it, it's not that it's going to, uh, it's very hard to describe how it make, improves your Tai Chi, but all people that practice it advocate it and they, they can feel the improvements in their, in their form, in their concentration, in their internal focus. Very hard to put into words. Anyway, I leave you with that over and out.